Over the weekend, Italian luxury brand Gucci was forced to apologize for selling this women's knit sweater, oh, resembling God. blackface. However, many people are not accepting their apology and calling for a Gucci boycott, like rapper T.I., who said in part, we all got to stop buying, wearing, and supporting this piece of blank company until they learn to respect our dollars and value our business. We, people of color, spend $1.25 trillion a year, but are the least respected and the least included. If we stop buying anything, they must correct any and all of our concerns. That's the only way we can get some respect put on our name. Director Spike Lee also pledged to not wear Gucci or Prada until they start hiring more black designers. So ladies, do you think people will actually give up the Gucci? What's gonna happen to Gucci Mane? Oh, the name, yeah. I mean, he gonna be naked. What's gonna oh, happen no. to Gucci? I like seeing this because <laughs> You guys have heard me talk before, like, we have so much power being consumers, man. Every single one of our dollars is keeping every single thing you see around you in exactly. business. So now that you see that the power is in your pocket, hold on to it, take it back. If that's how you feel, this is how you voice that. So I, I am proud of this. And at the same time, that was a, that's, that's a big, the that's Jamal blatant. thing, what, that? Yeah. Coming out there on the runways and just being able to be sold, and it just, that was a crazy mishap to me. So I'm, 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 Proud to see people actually take back and put the power in their own hands. Yeah. I think at this point in time, th there are no more excuses. We have seen this over and over and over and over and over and over again. Because if you didn't know, now you know. If you're watching you know, the news, and I don't care, I, is Gucci, you know, it's internationally, you are selling your product everywhere and you have the responsibility to know what is racially defensive. So. Well, it's also what Spike Lee said. When you don't have a, a diverse group of people working for your company, you're not gonna know. You're gonna have, you know, and that's, what, that's what's actually happening. It's not just Gucci. Personally, personally, I, don't, I only spend $59.99 on a piece of clothes. I'm not, I'm not spending that much money on... <laughs> yeah. On Gucci flip-flops? <laughs> not today? No. <laughs> $59.99, if you go over that, so I wonder what people will now do with their Gucci items. Uh, some so people are saying they're going to burn it. Yeah. Some people are saying they're only boycotting it for three months. I mean, so let's not get crazy, Why guys. three months? There's a lot of sites that'll buy that so you can get your money back or at exactly. least like 70% exactly. of it, okay? Don't get exactly. crazy. Exactly. But I do think that you're right. Let's stop saying sorry. Turn your sorry into action. Yes. That's where it hurts. Yeah. 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 CEO of Gucci is actually going to be meeting with Dapper Dan in Harlem, if I'm not mistaken, sometime this week, so we'll see what comes of that. And they did issue an apology, I have to say that. Gucci did issue an apology about it. They have taken down that sweater and, and things like that. Um, the same thing happened, I believe, with Prada. They had a bag um, that had a keychain with, a, with uh, yeah. something that resembled blackface. So uh -huh. these people are just doing it. It's time yes. to hire more people of color so you stop making these mistakes. Yeah.